Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. May God bless you all. The People Democratic Party and its presidential nominees legal team has responded to the forthcoming inauguration of the incoming president of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, after the sitting of the presidential election petition court on Tuesday in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Atiku Abubakar's lawyer, identified as Christ Uche, a senior advocate of Nigeria, in a statement advised supporters of the People's Democratic Party presidential nominee not to stay sleepless over the May 29th swearing-in ceremony of the incoming president of Nigeria, Bola May Tinubu whose electoral sources is being opposed at the tribunal. Chris Uche said, People are curious about May 29. We want to guarantee people that inauguration ceremony of Bola Tinubu is an occasion that does not tie down hands of the Nigerian court. If other claim that an election can be reversed by the court, it does not matter if or not a previously announced winner has been inaugurated. Meanwhile, on May 22, the Presidential Election Petition Court ordered appliants to start bringing their witnesses from May 30. The Presidential Election Petition Court equally combined all appeal before it into one having institute, instituted that they are all opposing the result of the 2023, 2023 Nigeria presidential election, which Bola Ahmed Tinubu emerged as the winner. Chris Uche reviewed satisfaction with the combination of all petitions of People Democratic Party, the Labour Party, and the Light People's Movement, and the 21 days the tribunal gave them to prove their petition. He claimed that the conclusion of the tribunal is aimed at fast-tracking the petition. He said, We are very glad that pre-hearing period has speedily ended and we are now going into proper hearing. The legal team to the Independent National Electoral Commission and Bola Ahmed Tinubu disregard disagreed to speak to the journalists after the presidential election petition court gave the new directive on the petition opposing the presidential election. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, the presidential election petition court, which is based on in Abuja, merged the three separate lawsuits that seek to void the result of the 2023 presidential election. Ashiwa Jubola met Tinubu, the president elect, and the governing all progressive congress APC both objected to the petition's merging. But a five member court panel headed by Justice Aruna unanimously disregarded their arguments. As they all pertain to the same election, the court determined that the justice of the cases mandated that they be merged and handled as one petition. As a result, Mr. Peter will be a candidate for the Labour Party, was given the deadline of May 30 to present his arguments in opposition to the result of the presidential election that took place on February 25th. Obi had previously stated that he would need seven weeks to present his case using 50 witnesses. However, the court in its decision reduced the time to three weeks while giving the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Tinubu and the Vice President-elect, Senator Kasim Shetima, five days each to respond to the petition. Kabiru Masiri, the fourth respondent in the case, was also given three days by the court to provide his own defense. The court emphasized that it will be able to set a date for judgment if the parties adopted their final argument papers by August 5th. The Alliance People's Movement, APM, 
filed a petition to contest the results of the presidential election together with Alaji Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who finished second in the pool, and OB of the Labour Party, who finished third in the election. The Action Alliance, or AA, dropped its lawsuit on May 8, and the Action People's Party, or APP, followed suit two days later by also stopping further proceedings on its own petition, although five petitions were originally submitted to contest the declaration of Tinubu as the election's veto. On the next postponed date, the Justice Haruna led panel hinted that it will forbid both the attorneys and the members of the public from entering the courtroom while using mobile phones. Nigerians, you've all heard it now. It seems that Bola Metinubu, <laughs> Bola Metinubu will get a, a little tough time the way the thing is going right now. You understand? Well, Nigerians are eagerly waiting to see the outcome of this election, uh, of this, uh, the outcome of, of this, uh, what is it called? The outcome of this, uh, the results or the verdicts, I beg your pardon, the outcome of this verdict, okay, Nigerians are really eagerly want to know how this will go. Honestly speaking, hmm, my people, this is not going to be easy. This case is not going to be easy because even the judges, they themselves, they've come to understand that Nigerians are watching them, okay? Nigerians are really watching them. And for that, they, sh they will not do otherwise. They should not just try it. Say it the way it is, you know, without favoring anybody. So guys, let's quickly hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.